Yeah, you know, it's been more than 25 years since Michael McLean's one-man performance of The Forgotten Carols debuted. In fact, the production has evolved over the years. More than a million people all over the country have enjoyed the show. It's become a family holiday tradition for so many of those people. Yeah, so Michael is here with us this morning to talk about the show and kind of a somber day this morning yeah, as we've you know, been talking, as I, with, as I was talking about some pretty as, massive news here. As I was driving down from Hebrew, mm -hmm. thinking about, should I even be here today? Mm -hmm. And then something in my heart said, yeah, only because here's what I've learned in 25 years of doing the Forgotten Carols. It's a story about a woman who aches mm -hmm. and needs hope. Mm -hmm. And she doesn't know where to find it. And the things that she's tried to find it haven't worked. And I thought, wait a minute, that applies today. And the reason that I have been blessed by doing the show, because people who come know I'm not a great actor or a great singer, but the message keeps saying, during difficult times, this is where we can go to remember Still what's been forgotten. And sometimes we forget it on the 2nd of October when horror happens. But if we can remember it and draw it together and link arms and remind ourselves what matters, I think it's, it's worth doing. So well, we need these things as well. You know, there is, a, for everybody, no matter whether they're dealing with something or not, people need an escape and a time to come together, as you say. So you've been doing this for a long time. What are people's reactions, responses after hearing this message? You know, I've kind of chronicled it for 25 years. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is, our dad died today, and he always bought us the tickets, and we had to debate whether we should come. But we came to remember him and to remember what this was all about. Or the girl who had an attack on Christmas Eve and went eight years without Christmas and said, you gave me Christmas back. Or my favorite recently was in Las Vegas. I gave, when I first started doing this, free tickets to the homeless center. Mm -hmm. Fifteen years later, a guy shows up and says, I came to your show as a homeless guy strung out on drugs. In the song Homeless, there's a line, it's how he showed, it's how we live, not where. And I thought, maybe that could be me. I want to introduce you to my son. I've been clean and sober for 14 years. Wow. And I wanted him to meet the guy that changed my life. Well, it wasn't me, of course, but that's why you keep... That's why you keep on keeping. I know. Michael, with our last few seconds before the show ends, tell us then about the tickets, about the performances. Oh, ForgottenCarols.com. Mm -hmm. Be there or be square. Okay. We're going everywhere from Spokane to Texas. Okay. And uh, you can go and learn which is the perfect days. And we'll come give me a squeeze and let's get through this together. Okay. We'll, we'll try not to be square. Much more <laughs> coming up on Live at 11.